Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today it's a match reaction is Sheffield Wednesday versus Luton Town. But before I get on with the video guys, can we drop a like on today's video? Can we hit 80 likes for today's video? Comment down below your thoughts about this game against Sheffield Wednesday. Do you think it was a good performance against them? Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And guys, if you want to become a member of my channel, click the link down below. You get exclusive perks if you guys want to become a member. So the lineups have just been announced. And it does look like we've changed our system. Now, from my point of view, it looks like it's a 3-5-2. We've got Craney and Norrington Davis playing as wingbacks with Petty Ruddock, Morrell, Dewsbury Hall in the midfield with Elliot Lee and Danny Hilton up top. And then the back three will be Bradley, Lockyer and Pearson. Hopefully, that is the system which we are playing. Now, the reason why I believe we are playing that is because Wednesday play a very similar formation. So I feel like we're matching them in the way we are playing. So the same system. I really hope Pearson isn't playing right back. I don't like Pearson playing right back. It makes me nervous and I just don't trust him playing right back. I get scared. I don't think we offer any attacking threat with Pearson playing on the right. So I really hope we are playing like 3 five, two, instead of a different formation, which means Pearson will be playing right back and Craney's going to be playing in that defensive midfield role. Excited to see Dewsbury Hall. Um, he's starting straight away. So in that number 10 role, maybe, I think that's where the creativity is going to come from with us. Elliot Lee and Danny Hilton up top. I'm not too sure about that, but I think it's too early to judge. We need to wait and see after the game how well they do. I'm a little bit more confident than I was before today's game. I am really am looking forward to seeing how well Morale and Dewsbury Hall do. Sam Nombe is on the bench as well, so we could see him come on and make an impact. We've got a very strong bench, in fact. Luwalawa, Clark as well, Moncur. So I'm very excited to see what those types of players can offer if we need them to come on in the game to help us win. But my score prediction still remains the same. I do believe Sheffield Wednesday will win this game 1-0. But let's see what we do in the first half. And I'll speak to you guys at half time. Right, first half is now over. And honestly, I do not know how are we not winning that game. After 30 seconds, Danny Hilton... Off the line. Either side, like, in the corners, is a goal. Lockyer from the free kick. Inches wide. And then Pelly. How have we not scored? How? Everything we've done in the first half has been right. The tactics, the lineup, everything is spot on from, like, the manager's point of view. Apart from the players not taking our chances. How are we... Drawing. I'm speechless because we should be winning this game. We should be winning and we should be winning by two or three goals, really. In the second half, that needs to continue. But we also need to take our chances. Wednesday have threat, you know, from the long throws, you know, set pieces as well and crossing the ball into the box. You know, they have a, they are a physical side and they do have a bit of height in them. But we need to be taking our chances. We need to be doing a, a little bit more, you know. But we are playing really well. Wednesday are there for the taking. We can beat them quite easily as well. Everything's been spot on apart from us not scoring a goal. We really need to get better in the second half in front of goal. But apart from that, there's nothing much to say. We've had a good first half. We're just not taking our chances we need to be scoring goals i know with danny hilton it's he just needs to get his first goal and everything will be okay with hilton in my personal opinion but the likes of lee need to do a little bit more i'm liking dewsbury hall i'm liking morale pelly honestly not doing himself any favors there by missing that opportunity he's probably going to get a lot of hate on social media especially if we don't win that game but we should be winning we honestly should be winning that first half and yeah, that's all I've got to say for my first half update. If we haven't scored after 60 minutes, make a change, you know, make the changes quickly rather than later on in the game. But anyway, hopefully 
after the second half, I'm saying Luton have got three points because we deserve the three points at this moment in time. And that's full time. Luton gets a well-deserved 1-0 away win at Sheffield Wednesday. We have a fantastic record at Sheffield Wednesday and that record has now continued after today's performance. What a win. We made it hard for ourselves. We had to wait until Wednesday, went down to 10 men for us to score the goal. But what a good performance. The game should have been dealt with at half time you know we could have had two or three goals at half time but second half going forward we weren't the best Sheffield Wednesday got back into the game a lot more made it more competitive but as soon as they had a man sent off we took control of the game was it a sending off well from the first angle which I follow showed it did look like a sending off the studs were up but I have to see it again to give a better opinion of the actual challenge itself but it did look like a sending off I'm very pleased for Pelly to get his goal yes he should have scored in the first half hopefully that goal it sends a message to a few Luton Town supporters because a lot of people don't like Pelly. I understand why he can be a very frustrating player at times but he deserved the goal today and I felt what happened during midweek this will give Pelly a lot of confidence and a boost so hopefully in the next few games, we see an even better Pelly Roddick. So I'm really happy to see um, Pelly get a goal. Hilton, he was unlucky with his chance in the first half. I actually thought Tunnicliffe in the dying moments of that game should have played Hilton through. I was quite gutted to see Tunnicliffe actually shoot rather than pass, but he nearly scored with the opportunity himself. So fair play to him on that. But I would have obviously have liked Hilton to go through one-on-one, -on -one, you know, get that first goal for your striker. But it weren't meant to be a clean sheet on the road as well. What more can you want? Three points away from home is perfect for any team, you know. And I'm so happy with that performance. It stops the bad form. We went back-to-back -back games where we had defeats. Back to winning ways now. And we've got a very tough home fixture coming up against Nottingham Forest. So that's going to be a massive test. But a very good performance. I like morale. I like Dewsbury Hall as well. Great performances on their first start with Luton. I thought Lockyer was my man of the match. Outstanding today. Great defensive work. Sluga was good as well. The whole back five actually were very good today and I'm very happy with that and it'd be interesting to see what type of system and what type of formation and tactics Nathan chooses for the game against Nottingham Forest but Nottingham Forest they are a good side and they can cause us problems so we need to make sure that we are on the ball when we play against them midweek and also I'm really happy that I lost my score prediction yes I predicted 1-0 to Sheffield Wednesday but I'm glad the players proved me wrong I want the players to prove me wrong every single week so yeah I'm very happy with today's performance but guys Guys, that is the end of today's video so hopefully you guys did enjoy it drop a like on today's video if you did comment down below your thoughts about our performance against Sheffield Wednesday subscribe to the channel if you are new don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already and I'll see you guys in the next video